I'm Paul Daddy from Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue, and today I found a great recipe for Goldie's Barbecue Peach Glaze. It's served with their smoked pork belly that they serve in their restaurant. And I found this recipe online, and it comes from D Magazine, and they made a report on the House of Plates, and that's a DFW-based food and music outlet that also ran a recipe series called Scratch Pad, where they had local chefs submit various recipes. Now, accordingly, the Goldie's trio of Lane, Jalen, and Johnny submitted this recipe for the peach glaze, and it pairs really well with their pork belly. It's what they serve with their pork belly. Now, there's 15 listed ingredients for this recipe, but if your quest is to make great pork belly, then that should be worth it. You need to make this up in a saucepan or a pot. Start with one quarter cup of lemon juice, one and one quarter cup white wine vinegar, one cup peach preserves, one half cup orange juice, one and a half cup white sugar, one half tablespoon each garlic powder and onion powder, one half teaspoon each white pepper and mustard powder, one teaspoon each oregano and dried thyme, one half teaspoon ginger powder and one quarter teaspoon turmeric, one quarter teaspoon cayenne, 21 grams of salt, that roughly translates out to five teaspoons. That's the published recipe, but I've watched a lot of videos on Goldie's and a lot of videos about Goldie's. One video in particular, Lane, who's one of the part owners, he said that the glaze has orange zest. So based on that information, guess what? I added the zest from one orange because I knew that would be good. Okay, you want to stir it around. You want to get it mixed up as well as you can. The next thing you need to do is heat it up and the instructions say to simmer it so we can dissolve the sugar and salt. Now I had some of the heavy parts of those peach preserves. They just wanted to linger around on the bottom of that pan. So I let mine come up to a boil, a rolling boil, and then I brought it back down and then I repeated that process, letting it roll and then cooling it back down. And that seemed to do a pretty good job of getting those preserves properly melted. Now let that glaze cool down for a bit. Man, this glaze has got a great taste, and I'm sure it's gonna be very good on smoked pork belly. I just happen to have a pork belly that's on the Yoder right now that I'm smoking up Goldie style. I'll leave a link for the Goldie style smoked pork belly video. I'll leave that link right up here. So let me get that pork belly finished up, and then we'll be right back and give it a try along with that peach glaze. Now, as you can see, I'm actually using this glaze as a dipping sauce. And the peach glaze is perfect for smoked pork belly. It's sweet, tangy, and it's got a great match for pork belly, and it offsets a lot of that abundance of fat that pork belly naturally has. Now, I have a natural tendency to shy away from recipes that have a long list of ingredients, but I'm making an exception for this peach glaze dipping sauce. This is gonna be on my list of sure to impress barbecue that I'll be making in the future. Goldie style pork belly served with their peach glaze on the side. Okay, you need to really give yourself a treat. You need to try both of these. The smoked pork belly along with that peach glaze. And then all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, but you really need to consider subscribing. And then I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>